Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. Uh, we're talking about the world's greatest Royal Rumble show uh, that's going to be coming to you live from Saudi Arabia. Um, I think it's going to be in a matter of about two weeks uh, from tomorrow, um, if my math is correct. Uh, it's been a while um, since we made one of these car videos. I know that some people honestly don't like them uh, because I'm so far uh, on my phone here, I'm on the left, which means for you watching at home on the, on YouTube, uh, you're seeing me on the little right-hand corner, but I, I don't know, it's kind of weird thinking that you guys are just staring at me the whole time I'm talking. Anyways, you guys should have another browser open uh, looking at something else, I guess. But um, big change uh, to the show. Definitely people are gonna be talking about it. Yesterday I made a video um, talking about uh, Rusev uh, versus The Undertaker uh, in a casket match. Um, saying that honestly, I, I was pretty excited for the match. I know that honestly, it wasn't really going to be a whole lot other than um, Rusev sort of getting out there and stalling a little bit and more than likely Undertaker hitting a tombstone uh, pretty fast into the match and just basically having the entrance and the finisher um, be the biggest part um, of the show. Obviously, WWE is trying to give Saudi Arabia the greatest show of all time. Um, I understand that they already have a Royal Rumble that happens each and every year in the WWE in January. So why this one is called the world's greatest Royal Rumble, um, I honestly have no clue. I was hoping that it was going to be uh, its own show um, on, on the network, but I really didn't think it was going to happen. Um, they should have put Starcade on there. I mean, that was a, a show that they gave a they gave a house show, a special attraction name, and just sort of let let the uh, the show um, fall flat. I think that a lot of people definitely would have wanted to watch that on the WWE Network, especially with all those gimmick matches um, that were involved on that show. Um, for the world's greatest Rumble, you know, they pull Rusev and they put Jericho in there on paper. I do think that this makes, you know, for a more of an attraction. Um, you've got uh, Jericho, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. There was a time when it was rumored that I, what, what show was it? Was it WrestleMania 28? Where I think they were thinking about doing Jericho versus Undertaker. Um, and they ended up going with the, the Triple H match. Um, and I thought that was, uh, yeah, I, th I thought that was kind of weird. Uh, that they would think about, um, you know, pulling uh, Jericho out of that. Um, he fought for the championship against Punk, I think it was, that year. Uh, and that match ended up not being that good, uh, in my opinion. Maybe you go back and you watch it again. It, it's great. But um, I, I think that the match seemed more attractive when it was Rusev versus Undertaker, with it being the casket match. The casket match is honestly, you know, an older gimmick for Undertaker. It's something that they haven't done in a long time. He did a lot of casket matches with Yokozuna, uh, Kamala, um, and sometimes the guys, when they lost the match, you would never see them ever again. It would sort of like be the end of their run in the WWF. And sometimes they get put in the casket and they act like those guys are dead and they just dust them off on TV and bring them back out there and they're going up against a new uh, opponent uh, while, you know, they put Undertaker, oh, I'm sorry, Undertaker put the Ultimate Warrior inside of one of those caskets one time on the uh, uh, Paul Bear Funeral Parlor show and they made it seem like the casket was going to kill him uh, because there's no air inside of the casket. So uh, they bent it one way or another. The, the casket match doesn't really have a whole lot of believability in 2018 here. Um, today, so I think that Jericho versus Undertaker is is a really attractive match, but uh, I don't know why Rusev would get pulled. I know that he makes a lot of jokes on Twitter, and uh, basically after the the match was announced on WWE's Twitter, he retweeted it with his comments of you know bury me softly, um, it's sort of going off of the whole uh, deal with the club, uh, Machine Gun Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. Um, the whole brother me softly um, sort of deal. Um, some people thought that uh, you know Rusa was giving away the finish of the match. How in the world did anybody think that Undertaker wasn't going to win that match to begin with? Um, I think that this is a glorified house show. It's not going to be a real you know pay per view. Uh, I had to uh, stop the video because I ran out of space on the phone, so I had to go through and delete like a thousand videos um, that I had made. So I wasn't looking where I was going at the time, so I don't know where it cut off. 
To me, honestly, Jericho, uh, he does a lot of special matches. Like the, He likes doing the house shows. Um, he likes doing the UK tour. Um, he likes picking up those dates because he likes making money for WWE. He likes wrestling. He still likes being able to show off um, that part um, of his career. But um, when, it, when it comes down to it, he just doesn't miss doing television um, that much. Um, and I think that's unless he thinks he's going to be a main part of what's going on in the show. A lot of what Jericho does is he likes to, um, you know, wrestle a lot against a lot of the new talent and, and sort of help them find their way. Uh, honestly, it's sort of like being a coach on the road in the matches. He's talked about wanting to wrestle matches against like Neville, Yoshitatsu, um, Shinsei Nakamura, Kevin Owens, and helping them find their way um, on the big stage and, and making the matches better um, and sh sort of giving back everything that he's learned um, in his career. Um, I can't think of Jericho wrestling any big matches against Undertaker in my career. And uh, I, I don't know if that's because they weren't really in the same place at the same time um, in their careers. I, I know that definitely, you know, Jericho wrestled for um, WWE from like 2000. He came in, he came in in like late 99, 2000 to be the man of the millennium, the whole Y2J thing. And, and Undertaker was there, but I think because Jericho was in the mid card, uh, they never really matched up. And I think that for the most part, Jericho was a Monday Night Raw guy when Undertaker was a SmackDown guy. And that's maybe why they're past it and cross. And maybe when I get home, I'll type in Undertaker versus Jericho on online and see if I can find anything but I can't think of anything off the top of my head but maybe that's just because I have a block and I'm just not remembering something like that um definitely I think this is still a match that Jericho's you know going to lose I think this is more I I, I don't know if I want to believe the stuff people saying that Rusev is trying to get released or Rusev is is getting released or maybe Rusev just ran his mouth too much and maybe his wife talks too much that they don't really want him around. If you look at like the, the videos that were posted from fans that attended WrestleMania, Rusev is one of the most over guys there is on the roster. Um, people are saying that, you know, they like selling the t-shirts, um, but they're not a hundred percent crazy about people chanting Rusev day all the time. Um, and trying to get a guy over that they're not really trying to push. Um, I don't know if they're trying to blanket him and, and, and maybe keep him at the spot that he's at. With the Superstar shakeup coming up, they should be willing to take anything they can get, whether if it's, you know, even if he just moves over to Monday Night Raw and he becomes a quick number one contender um, to go after Roman Reigns for a month or two, they should use it. Because, I mean, this guy... Um, he's selling a lot of t-shirts. People really like cheering for him. Um, they get involved in his matches. I saw people really care uh, about the United States Championship Fatal 4-Away um, at WrestleMania after Rusev was added. So I think this is a guy that you should be marketing and you guys should be pushing this guy. Um, I, I don't know what to believe if um, you know they, they're, they're sick of Lana or they just don't like what he, he does. I don't think that he got pulled from this match because of that tweet. Um, I would think that you know maybe just Jericho was surprised that Undertaker was going to wrestle on the show and, and thought maybe this was a time he could ask for a favor to wrestle a match uh, against him. So we'll see what goes down. Obviously, I'm going to be making more videos um, about this show since it's coming up sooner than later. Um, I'm really pumped about that Triple H versus Cena match, even though I haven't made a video about it yet. But uh, maybe if I have time, I'll sit down tomorrow and knock those out because I can't think of anything on my schedule as of right now. So um, we'll get more in-depth into this. I'm just really surprised. I didn't think they would do something like this.